Baker with Baker DMM. This is our Video Digest newsletter. The topic of today's newsletter is going to be, what are your goals in life? And before I jump into our discussion, I want to read you a quote. Quote states, the goal has its importance, but the doing is what is truly fulfilling. Every enthusiastic person has a goal that may be important, but the doing is intensely fulfilling and it is the essence of enthusiasm. And that quotes by Eckhart Tolle. And really just thought it was a great segue into what I want to talk about today. And, you know, just the question to, to think to yourself are what are your goals in life? And I'm just going to volunteer a suggestion to everyone out there. And it's something that I do in my life. And, you know, that's approaching life you know, really just from the concept of trying to leave, you know, when, when it's your time to leave, the, you know, this physical presence in, in, in the earth trying to leave the world in a better place than when you got here. And that just, that doesn't mean that that's going to be a one time, you know, snap your finger and up, you've done it and that's it. It could be a culmination of things, just every day and how you live your life and the people that you, that you touch and that you affect. And you're not going to win every single time. You know, you're not going to be perfect. We're human. We, we have faults. We make mistakes. We're not perfect. Some days are better than others. That's just how it is. But in an overall general sense, in a cumulative sense, in a win versus loss sense, are you leaving the world in a better place than when you got here? And I think for all of us, that's a goal that's worthwhile and that, could, that we can all implement into whatever we're doing. You know, the, the bottom line, the reality is not all of us are going to be entrepreneurs. Not all of us are going to be athletes. Not all of us are going to be musicians. You know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. And... You know, too often people get caught up with the media and the news and the movies and, and superstars and entertainers and and everybody wants to be famous and have that limelight, but that's just not the reality for all of us. It doesn't mean that you can't try and and, and, and possibly pursue different avenues or routes to, to maybe potentially reach that fame. We all should. We should all strive to do the very best in our lives and do what you know, really staying true to ourselves and doing what we want with our lives. But if that involves being an athlete or a musician or an entrepreneur, you know, or even possibly having a family, you do your best to try it and it, it, it may work or it may not. So you're know, keeping that in mind, having a, a, a goal that is bigger than, than the ego, bigger than the self, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, you know, it's a holistic universal view of, you know, I'm here, I'm here on earth, I'm going to do what I need to do to leave this world a better place than when I got here. And that's just by making choices every day in your life. And it, it doesn't matter what profession you are, it doesn't matter what you do. You know, I mean, for some of us out there, we're just working to grind it and to, to get paid and, and to provide for our family, you know, and you know, and sometimes that can be disheartening. And, 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 and I know many of us have probably been there at some point or time, you know, rather another in our lives. And, you know, you just, you have to view, you know, be present, be in the moment and view things from a bigger, grander level, because we're not here forever. We're here for a limited time. And if you can get out of the thoughts in your head and live present in the moment and be grateful and have gratitude for where you're at, that can make a profound difference in your life, and therefore you can take that gratitude and that present moment and 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 help people and 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 be a positive role model in your community and 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 then on a day in and day out basis truly try to leave the world in a better place than when you got here. And you know, there's an example of a, a you know in 2017 I went to a, a conference in downtown Atlanta and it was at a really nice convention center and, and, you know, I'd attended, you know, for a few hours and then had to leave to go to another meeting. And as I was exiting the building, you know, I stopped to use the restroom and it was, it was closed off uh, for, for the cleaning. The, jan the janitorial crew were cleaning the restrooms and, you know, it was you know, a little bit frustrating, but no big deal. I just kind of just brushed it off and said, well, I'm just going to, you know, find another restroom somewhere else. And, you know, as I was leaving, I actually ran into the woman who was cleaning the restrooms. Now, keep in mind, this woman, you know, not a big fancy job, you know, not the CEO of Coca-Cola. She's the janitor. You know, her role is to help, you know, keep the maintenance and, and, and provide, you know, cleaning services for the building. But she was by far the happiest person I met that day. I mean, she gave me a big smile. 
and she was cheerful and she was upbeat and just, I mean, so full of just positive, you know, great energy. I mean, I, I remember that vividly to this day and I probably will the rest of my life on how that woman, doesn't matter if you're, you know, the janitor, the trash man, a teacher, the CEO of a billion dollar company, you know, an entrepreneur, famous athlete, we can all approach life with a lot of enthusiasm and, and, and try to leave it in a better place than when we got here. And that's exactly what she was doing. And it made my day, it made my day and it made my year. I mean, you know, for a, bit, a better word, I mean, you know, it, it, it really impacted me enough to where I'm mentioning it in this video. And, and we all have that capability. And, and, and if you tap into that, you know, one by one, we can each make a difference in the world. And in, 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 in return, we can live a more fulfilling life, just like with the quote with Eckhart. You know, we all have goals and we all want to get to somewhere, but it, you know, it's the things we do in the day in and day out, you know, of our lives to, to that, that, that are really the meaningful. I mean, you don't want to just have a goal or, you know, wish upon something and then just be so laser focused on it. You, you know, forget the 50 years that you just passed by to get to that goal. And then sometimes you might not even get to the goal. I mean, you know, we, you know, we do fail and, and tons and millions and probably billions of people before us have failed. Uh, so you just keeping this in mind, you know, ultimately, and, and the big reason why I want to bring this up is that if we can tap into this, this mentality and this energy and, and really just try to focus on, you know, leaving the world in better place than when we got here, that's going to give you presence and peace of mind and that'll allow you to make ultimately better financial decisions because you know half the battle in our financial lives is you know the organ the organization the tracking the monitoring but then the other half the battle is is having a positive mindset having being in the right mental state of mind you know balanced and centered to make good decisions i mean how many of us out there you know have a bad day and then we go you know to, to relieve our stress or our tension, you know, or we're emotional, so we go make, you know, some ridiculous purchase that we should never have made. Well, the more that we can rein in our feelings and our emotions and stay more centered and balanced and live present in the moment, we can have more, you know, control and discipline over our finances. So, you know, there's kind of multiple things going on here. You know, live a life, you know, to try to leave the world in a better place than when you got here, you know, Use this, you know, being present day in and day out, having gratitude. And then, you know, another benefit of doing this, you're going to live a better financial life. So hopefully this video has helped you. And if you found value in the video, please feel free to share it with your social media channels. This could be your family, your friends, uh, really whoever you think might benefit from viewing the video. If you'd ever like to ask me a question directly, go to our website, www.bakerdmm.com. Scroll to the bottom, fill out your information. Uh, write a few sentences and I'll try to answer your question in one of our upcoming newsletters. And if you ever like to get my help personally and directly, you can go to our website. At the top, you'll find our phone number as well as a request an appointment button. And if you'd like to book an immediate phone consulting session, uh, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll find a PayPal button. And with any of these options, I'll be in touch with you to four, 24 to 48 hours to schedule and confirm our appointment. And until then, I will talk to you all soon.